Hi everyone, Narelle here from Simply Narelle Stitches and welcome to day 16 of my December Startathon. And I've got two days of stitching to show you. Um, and I can't remember why. <laughs> it's been a long day. Anyway, day before yesterday's pick. I think I didn't stitch for a few days, so I was a little bit behind. So the day, the stitch that was picked for the day before yesterday was the Emily Munro quilt by Rosa Manor. And this is how much I got done on it. There we go. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. So, sorry, that's all I got done. I was sorry for the way I was mucking around with the fabric, not for how much I got done. I was never apologised for how much or how little stitching I get done. Um, yeah, so there it is. I love the border. It is so easy to do, so effective. It doesn't change. It's the same. Really, really nice. Um, and these colours are very deceptive. They're more a brown than I thought. I thought they looked more red. The bird's red, but the flowers like a brown center with a yellow and then another different yellow in the center which you really can't see so I am tempted when I come to finish this off oh I'm so sorry for you lady it's nearly 11 o'clock p.m. here so I've just finished stitching for the day well for a little while anyway I'll probably hubby's your home very shortly from work so I'll probably do a little bit an hour or so of stitching with him um, while we have a cup of tea before we go to bed anyway you didn't need to know that but yeah so these these colors are a little bit deceptive and I was saying this this middle one is a slightly different yellow to the other ones around that yellow so I'm thinking I might put beads in the middle I don't know I probably won't remember that by the time I finish all these I'm not gonna remember I said that but anyway oh my goodness all right so that is the Emily Munro quilt and apparently, um, I was reading about it and the cross stitch pattern is actually taken from inspiration from an actual quilt that Karen saw somewhere. Um, where does she have it on the back? Um, artist statement. I visited the website. I visited the of website anyway, Massachusetts quilt documentation project and was inspired to create this quilt design it did take some creative license I did take some creative license and a range of blocks a bit different but I hope the spirit of the original quilt remains it is circa 1860 made by Emily Wiley Munro 1823 to 1895 so this is actually inspired by a physical quilt that was made in the 1860s awesome the work that must have been in that quilt oh my goodness yeah I <coughs> oh sorry <coughs> oh my goodness we got coughs and we got yawns oh geez um, I do dabble a little bit in quilting and the talent you need for that is oh my gosh awesome right so today's stitch or today's pick the pick for today that was picked last night yesterday Oh, is Flea Market Flowers by um, It's So Emma, Laurie Holt, with Bee in My Bonnet. These things confuse me. Right, someone explain it to me if you know. Why is it got by Laurie Holt of Bee in My Bonnet Company, It's So Emma Stitchery? Like, I, I don't get it. It's either It's So Emma or it's Laurie Holt, Bee in My Bonnet. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, that quarter shop confused me sometimes. Um, but I've had this one on a stash for a long time, wanted to stitch it, and today I finally got the chance. Started the border last night, um, and I think I had one or two of these petals, and then did the rest of that tonight. And would you believe in that stitching there is over 1,200 stitches. It's a lot of stitching. Now, I'm stitching this on a 28 count. Oh, I have a card somewhere in a minute. I have a card. Alright. It's a 28 count even weave, hand dyed, called Frozen. And it looks like it came from a Sassy Devil's Pouch. 
So it's really pretty, nice and motley, but it's delicate enough that it's not going to overpower this piece. So yeah, that is that one, Flea Market Flowers. Still on the QSAT because literally five minutes ago I stopped stitching. Alright, so what is today's pick? Christmas nutcracker bags. I still have some of these in my shop, I think, in my Etsy store. Go take a look. Oh, it's a mirabilia. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Winter White Center by Nora Corbett. Oh, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, here I go with you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Goodness, I think I must be tired or something. <laughs> um, love it and the fabric I have chosen it is Paddock Lane Designs it's uh, October's fat quarter of the month called Yurunga Waters and it's a beautiful blue shaded needs an iron crinkly oh and I pinned through both layers hang on a minute oh goodness so I know the picture there is done in a grey but I'm hoping that it will look really pretty on this. We'll see. Because I want, like, I, when I looked at this, I thought the background could be like a snow type of winter look. I don't know what it actually looks like in the snow. Never been to the snow. It doesn't snow here in Brisbane. <laughs> we are trop subtropical. Um, yeah, so I thought that it would look pretty on that. So fingers crossed the material is big enough. And I don't know how much I'll get done tomorrow because I am going out to meet family for lunch. Um, extended family so I might be tired when I get home but I'm hoping I can make a start because that is beautiful I love it all right so that is today's pick come back tomorrow and we'll see what tomorrow has in store thanks for watching catch you later bye bye